set up a quick and easy leveling process for an i3 style gantry printer running clipper. The first step in the leveling process is aligning the gantry to the frame of the printer. This will be the reference for what the bed is leveled to. We can do this by using two items of the same length and holding them under two features of equal height off the X gantry. Do this similar to the paper leveling method where you attempt to get the same amount of friction between the two items. Once the gantry is leveled to the bed, the next step will be setting up screw tilt adjust. Screw tilt adjust is the same as manual tramming except it uses your BL touch to tell you how much to turn each of the screws. Under screws tilt adjust, we will set the coordinates for each screw in our bed, in my case, four. The easiest way to find the locations of the screws that are required is to jog the probe over the screws and record the position of the screw. Be sure the screw location and the screw name are matching and the thread of the screw is correct. I recommend a relatively high movement speed here so you're not waiting forever to level your bed. To run Screws Tilt Adjust, you will first need to home your printer. Once it is homed and Screws Tilt Adjust finishes, it will report how far you need to turn each screw in minutes. You can think of this like a clock. Clockwise 30 minutes means turn the screw clockwise 180 degrees. 15 minutes means 90 degrees and so on. If Screws Tilt Adjust is set up correctly, it should only have to be run a few times to get your bed within one or two minutes of each other. Finally, we need to set up and run our bed mesh. The first parameter we'll set in our bed mesh is the speed. We'll want this to be relatively high, so again, this doesn't take very long. Our horizontal move in the Z will be how far the printer will retract to go to the next position. And then we'll need to set our mesh minimum and mesh maximum. Keep in mind, we'll need to adjust these values to account for our probe offset so we end up still being on the bed. After that, we can set up our probe count. In my case, I did an 8x8 probe, as I'm not doing this at the start of every print, but you can change these values however you'd like. For the algorithm, I have bicubic, and I'm not going to pretend to know what that means. Following this, I have fade start, fade end, fade target, and mesh PPS. All of these you can leave out of your configuration, but I had them in for testing. The fade start is where it starts to fade off of the bed mesh, and the fade end is where it will start printing completely horizontally again. The mesh, PPS, is the amount of points it will interpolate between the points it has actually taken. And the fade target is basically a additional offset, like your Z offset, applied to the entire mesh. If you're running a dual independent z-axis setup like I am, it is a good idea to run z-tilt at the start of your prints. This will automatically level your gantry to the bed using the bed as the reference. Probing each side of the bed until the print bed is within the specified tolerance. The z positions are the positions of your lead screws. In my case, my bed is 310 millimeters and my lead screws are 50 millimeters off the bed. So my x coordinate for my z positions are negative 50 and 360 with the Y being roughly in the center of my bed. Retries should be set fairly high for this to avoid prints canceling. My tolerance of 0.01 millimeters is likely overkill for this, but it's an automatic process and I don't mind the extra start time. As a final note for bed leveling using Clipper, I must mention CAMP, or Clipper Adaptive Mesh Purging. This clipper utility has a functionality to only make the bed mesh in the area the part is being printed. I personally only make a bed mesh once and use it for a long time before it becomes unusable. If this is something that interests you, I will link a good video in the description for setting this up. Thank you for watching and happy first layers.